Peace Reflections. You are over here with Tarethia. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the follow button, depending on which platform you are on. Now, today we are actually talking about banishing energy, banishing energy reflection. Now, if you see me look to the side, I'm just looking at my notes. I'm just looking at what you are looking at, okay? So I don't forget anything, all right? So with that being said, we all know about negative energy, right? We all have heard about karma coming back. We've all heard about when you do, do you believe in magic? We've all heard about how to backfire or how other people will send negative energy your way. Or sometimes you can just go places, reflection, and just absorb negative energy, okay? But we need to talk about how to banish that negative energy, how to get that negative energy up off of me, okay? So that's what we're talking about in this video today, okay? So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the follow button, depending on which platform you are on. And if you haven't already went to the night school, then definitely check in the description box and definitely go check over there. I have all type of Do You Believe in Magic videos, okay? So let's talk about banishing energy, all right? negative energy is just like a sponge reflection what does a sponge do a sponge absorbs water or it absorbs whatever it is whatever liquid it is all of that negative energy when you go places you are just like a sponge reflection you are all light at first and then you will go around all this negative energy whether it's a person place or a thing and you feel heavy and weighed down just like a sponge. And before you know it, if you don't address that negative energy, then it'll just leak out of you just like a sponge. Okay, reflection. So negative energy is just like a sponge. Now, negative energy can actually be absorbed from a person, a place, or a thing, okay? Think about um cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke, it travel, don't it? Reflection. Sometimes you don't even have to be a smoker, but if you go around somebody that is a smoker and the smoke get on you, you can leave from around them, get in your car. Next thing you know, you got the scent all over you. It's the same thing, okay? Reflection energy don't die. It just keeps going, and that can be from a person, a place, or a thing. That's why you have to protect your energy reflection okay some people wear crystals to protect their energy some people they do um spiritual baths to protect their energy some people you get what i'm saying there's different things you can do to protect your energy okay but protecting your energy is key all right so neutralize deflect and redirect unwanted energies okay you have to know how to send that energy back to where it came from reflection you have to recognize in order to um i'll tell people you cannot win the game if you don't know you in the race there's no way you can win the game if you don't even know you playing right reflection so if you're not aware that people places and things have energy it holds energy reflection then you won't know that hey maybe i'm feeling this type of way is because i went to this place and it was a whole bunch of negative energy there okay i went um and i talked to this person this person was just bringing down my energy i felt totally drained after i left this person okay remember energy don't die what does it do reflection it just keeps going okay so you want to neutralize that, deflect it, or either redirect it. Sometimes if you know people have sent negative energy your way, then you want to do a reversal spell that's redirecting that negative energy, okay? To neutralize negative energy, okay? Sometimes you just have to you just have to walk away. If you know that it, when you go to this place, reflection last time you went it was negative energy you know last time you went you left feeling a type of way you know last time you was around that person you felt super drained after you left that person or after you talked to that person so why go do the same thing again reflection okay i'm just saying all right so sometimes you just have to know how to neutralize things all right and deflecting reflection deflect okay let's talk about deflecting sometimes reflection people will just how I said you will go around someone and you will know that person has negative energy, but you will go around them again, reflection, and you will act like, okay, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's something else. No, it's just what it was, reflection. It's just what it was. No matter if that person is your friend, your family, your co-worker, it doesn't matter, reflection. Energy don't die and energy doesn't have a face, okay? You have to think energy just keeps going. So a person, even though that's your family member, they could harvest negative energy reflection. This could be a negative person, all right? This could even be an energy vampire. You get what I'm saying? This could be an energy vampire. Do not let your emotions play on your senses. If your body is telling you certain things, you, keep in mind your body will let you know things that sometimes you are not aware of. All you have to do is pay attention, okay? So your body will sometimes let you know, hey, Hey, I'm in a place in this negative energy here. Hey, I'm around a fucking uh, energy vampire reflection. You get what I'm saying? So you just have to pay attention to the signs. All right. 
Now, let's go back. Remember, I told you there's different things you can do to like um, redirect negative energy. OK, so let's talk about crystals. There are certain crystals that you can actually use reflection or actually keep around you that will actually banish negative energy. Remember, certain in, certain crystals um, hold energy. Some um, crystals, they amplify energy reflection and certain crystals, it almost banish um, the negative energy from even penetrating your aura. OK, so let's talk about some. This is one of my favorite crystals. Let's talk about the obsidian crystal. OK, let me where is my obsidian crystal? I keep me some obsidian around somewhere. OK, so let's talk about obsidian. All right. Obsidian is actually known to help with depression. If you are a person that always feel like your energy is being pressed. OK, that's all depression is your energy being pressed down okay suppressed so obsidian is very good to have obsidian has been known to clear negative energy it has been known to clear energy you feel like you're going um you went somewhere reflection and you have a whole lot of negative energy you feel like it, they was just all on your energy reflection just fucking energy vampires they're energy vampires get you some obsidian get you an obsidian crystal remember you can wear obsidian on your um you can wear obsidian. You can wear it on your wrist reflection. Okay, you can have an obsidian crystal. Or you can even, um, remember I told y'all that you can buy these right here where you put the um, crystal in that reflection. Because that's how this is. Like you can change the crystals out. An obsidian crystal and you just put it in here. I see your true colors shine every day. And I see your true colors. And that's why I love you. That's my shit reflection. I know I fucked it up a little bit at the end, but that's my song. I'm going to get it right. Okay, so I ain't had all my water today. I'm blaming it on the water, all right? So, or you can wear it around your neck reflection you can wear it around your neck too all right so this is actually have been known to help banish um and clear energy all right so let's talk about amethyst i know this is a crystal everyone is um aware of right amethyst amethyst is a good a good crystal a protection crystal as well all right amethyst all right now you can wear it again do i have an amethyst um on handy real quick Ooh, i don't think i do Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so you can amethyst. All right. So this one is right here. I'm wearing it on my wrist. Or you can, again, get one of these reflection and put it around your neck. So amethyst is a good protection um stone. And it helps with clearing boundaries. All right. I mean, setting boundaries. All right. So sometimes people have a lot of trouble setting boundaries you know what i mean sometimes they'll get choked up on their words just like three just did right sometimes um they'll know just what they want to say to a person then they'll get around this person keep in mind an energy vampire will do that to you they'll get around this person they forget all those boundaries that they just said that they're going to set all these things that they had to tell this person okay reflection amethyst helps with it and it's a good protection stone as well okay and it's real good with anxiety keep in mind you may get around this energy vampire reflection and the whole time you have anxiety you don't even know what to say you got all nervous and shit i'm just saying it's an energy vampire all right so smoky quartz smoky quartz is another good um another good crystal as well i have a smoky quartz i don't see it though okay let's see i don't think this is smoky quartz i think this is citrine hold on let me see here we go i see your true colors so smoky quartz you can wear reflection all right and this has been known to block negative energies all right smoky quartz has been known to block negative energies okay this isn't smoky quartz it's moonstone this is my favorite one of my favorite crystals next to obsidian moonstone is my favorite it's my favorite baby okay so with that being said reflection those are some crystals that you can actually wear to um help with those negative energies and you can also manipulate um smells as well all right you can um use sage you can use rosemary or you can even use himalayan pink salt reflection keep in mind i told you all of the five senses you can use them and manipulate them to protect you okay until next time i shall